If you're a content creator, this automation that I'm about to show you is gonna save you at least 10 hours of time every single week. It's gonna allow you to upload a video file, whether that's yours or another creator's. It'll take the script from that video file and then use the viral script writing techniques that I've used to get over 300,000 followers, rewrite that script and send it over to 11 Labs to create a professional voice clone of that script. And then from there, we're gonna take the 11 Labs audio file and send it to HeyGen so it'll create a realistic looking and sounding avatar of you reading the new script. So you don't have to write the script or sit down in front of a camera and record. All of that's taken care of for you in this automation. I'm gonna get into it right now. I build automations like this every single day that are gonna help you automate your social media, whether that's LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, whatever that might be. So first off, we're gonna come in here, it's gonna be pretty basic. We're gonna use Google Drive, right? And we're just literally gonna give it the folder. All you have to do is link your Google Drive account, you give it the folder that you want to watch, and then it's going to watch that folder, right? Then what we're gonna do is use the next module that's called download a file. It's then going to take the file ID that we got from the watching of the folder, right? So it's going to watch that folder, when something new pops up, it will take that file ID and we download that. What we then have here is we're gonna have an HTTP request. We're gonna put this exact URL in. You're not gonna change this URL at all. You're gonna have it be a post method and then you're going to just name it whatever you want. Then you're going to put in bearer and then your API key that you wanna use for this, right? So literally type in the word bearer like it says here and then throw in your API key. Then go into here for body type, multi-part form data, file, file. Then add another item here that's text model whisper one to let it know that we wanna use whisper for this. And then we do want it to parse the response that we get. Now I have it sending this to Slack. You could send this to wherever you want. It could be Google Docs, it could be Notion, wherever you want to kind of host this transcript of the video that you are transcribing. And all I have to do here is just connect my Slack account and then I give it the channel name and then I'm just having the text that I get from the HTTP and go into this Slack message. Now for this step, I'm using Poppy, and this is an AI tool I've been using to write content, whether it's for Reels or TikToks. I also use it for some Twitter ghostwriting and some copywriting there. I highly suggest using this over a service like a ChatGPT or Claude. I just find it to have a lot more options. You can see here inside of Poppy that I've got a board set up with a bunch of different videos that is transcribed. I've got some notes for the chat. I've got a YouTube, and then I've even got some context about me that's inside of a PDF here, and it's all connected to this chat, which is what we actually use to rewrite the script. If you want to use Poppy, there will be a link in the description for you to check it out, but if you want to use Claude, ChatGPT, any other type of model, you're more than welcome to do that. All I have to do is take the chat URL I get from Poppy, put it into here, use a git, and then I go ahead and add a query string, and I say prompt with the prompt I wanna give it. And so what we've done up to this point is we've downloaded the file, we've transcribed the file, and now we've rewritten the script based off that transcription and the instructions I've given Poppy. So then we can send the new script over to 11 Labs. And you can see here that I'm using the 11 Multilingual V2. I've got my professional voice that I've got set up. These are the settings that I like for my voice in particular. This might be different, but I would imagine it's not gonna vary too much here. And so what that's now going to do is to create a a voice file from 11 Labs. Then we're going to upload that file to Google Drive. Again, really simple. All we have to do is just choose the folder we wanna do and then click 11 Labs here and then convert to a file. I just have clicked as no. These next couple steps are super, super important. And I actually spent like 40 minutes trying to figure out the step just cause I couldn't get it to work for whatever reason. So don't make the same mistake I did. You wanna use a get a share link file here. So you do this. It's just a module that you can use with Google Drive. Again, you will select this to file, you'll choose the file ID that you just got from the upload file, and then you will select reader and anyone. Also make sure that the Google folder that you have is also publicly available, right? So you don't want to have that be private, make sure that's public as well. Then we're gonna go here and resolve a target URL. We're just gonna take this web content link that we got from this module right here. And then this second step is also what I was missing, is we're gonna actually have set variable we're gonna clean audio URL and we're gonna click it to this resolved URL right here. This is basically going to make sure the URL is cleaned up so we can actually send it to HeyGen. Figuring out these three steps right here took the majority of the time for this. So otherwise I would have been able to build this a lot quicker, but I got it done and that's what matters. Final step here that we have is basically just log into your HeyGen account. You're gonna pick avatar. I've got my avatar that I chose here. I've got the scale at one. Offset, I didn't change anything here. Matting, nothing. And then what really truly matters here is you just doing voice type and I click audio and then I put the resolved URL that I got from 39 here. This is not going to pop up in, as an option initially. It is now because I've, I've ran it multiple times, right? But 
you want to actually click this resolved URL here, right? Then you can name it whatever you want. Do you want captures or not? No. And then you don't need to change anything here. Uh, depending on your plan that you have with HeyGen, you can maybe turn this to 4K if you'd like to. And so now I'm gonna show you in real time what this looks like and how long it takes to run. So I'm just gonna do Tom Noski test this is a video I was testing out recently, right? I'm gonna click run once, and then you're gonna see this go through in live action. So we're already to the first HTTP, boom, we're rolling through. It's been like 10 seconds maybe at this point. You guys know better than me because you can see while I'm recording this video. This one will take the longest typically, and then we kind of roll quickly from there after 11 laps, depending on the length of the video. So these two you'll find will probably take the longest, and then it's almost automatic from that point on. So right now it's just creating that audio file, and then it's going to upload it to Google Drive for us, which boom, that happens. All right, now all we got to do is that, and boom, we're good to go. So that's already there. And then if I go over to HeyGen, you will see that I've got the API video processing right now. This is one that I did earlier for it. So I'm just going to show it to you guys really quick. Make content for your former self. That's it. That's the secret. Think about who you were two, three, four years ago. What did that person desperately need to hear? So this is really solid. And again, now that I've got this set up, all I really have to do is find a video I like, or maybe I want to recreate one of my own videos. And now I'm able to actually literally just upload that It'll rewrite it. It'll do everything for me. And then I can just send this off to my editor. I don't have to sit down in front of the camera. I can literally do five to 10 of these in probably less than 20 minutes of time. Send that off to my editor and we're good to go. Like I said, I build automations like this every single day for both me and other businesses in the content space. So if you have questions, leave those in the comments below. Also, there will be a link in the description if you want to fill out a form to see if we can work together, whether it's to set up something like this for you or a completely different use case that you might have in your mind. We can hop on a call, see if it makes sense for us and if it's something I can handle for you. I appreciate you sticking around for the entire video. Make sure you subscribe for more videos like this.